retargeting CAD data for offline rendering or real-time applications is traditionally a very difficult process. Typically, it involves recreating the object manually. This is due to the fact that it's nearly impossible to remove large amounts of data while preserving shading and general mesh quality. Additionally, there are no automatic tools available that can handle large data sets with thousands of objects or millions of polygons. Tessellation quality of CAD meshes can also vary greatly between tools, resulting in common issues like broken UVs, on-seamed or on-bridged CAD patches, which lead to drifting or swimming in the optimized asset, or even invalid normals. All of these issues make it very difficult to establish a clear workflow on how to bring these assets to life without recreating them manually. This is about to change because with Insulon, retargeting CAD data into any 3D scenario becomes a trivial task. In this video, we are going to focus on using Insulon's powerful and fast polygon optimization technology. In later videos, we will focus on using occlusion calling to remove hidden faces and Insulon's remesher to bring even the most difficult topologies into a VR scenario. For the first CAD example that I want to show you is this car hood, which is generally considered to be one of the most difficult for any optimization tool because of the precise shading, and we want to really keep that intact. When you load your CAD assets, you should always ensure that the scaling matches your settings in Maya. So if you have set up Maya to be one centimeter to one unit or one meter to one unit, you should make sure that the scale of the asset you loaded matches your settings in Maya. So in this case, it matches nicely. So what we're going to do is we're going to optimize this down very heavily. And instead of using percent triangles, we're going to let Instalod decide uh, the best way before it starts to air out and continues to keep all of the shading intact. So we're going to use maximum deviation. And we're going to set this to 0 0.05. And this car hood does have UVs. The UVs are quite messy, and it doesn't make sense for Instalod to try and retain them at the cost of the visual quality to the mesh. So we can set texture importance to off. The reason for this is that most CAD tools either generate no UVs at all or broken ones. In this case, they're just messy and unusable, which makes optimization rather difficult due to the splits. But we're not gonna let Instalod consider those right now because we can recreate those later. So we're gonna turn that off. And so now the most important thing is the shading and the silhouette. So let's go ahead and hit optimize selected meshes. And what you'll see is that very quickly We've gone from 70,000 triangles down to 11,000. And one of the things to notice is that all of the shading was kept intact very precisely. And all of our panel lines look still look very, very clean. So we've done a very, very good job of optimizing this while still maintaining the normals and the shading from the original. Now let's see if we can take this a little bit farther. And let's go down to point one and hit optimize selected meshes. So again, very quickly, we're down to 7,000 from 70,000. So we're about 10% of the original, and it still looks very nice and clean. So let's go ahead and hide this other one, and let's do a test and put a Fong shader on and make sure that we really do still have good shading on here. So you can see that we still have very precise hard lines in the reflections. And we can put a fully reflective material on this and render it and still come away with a good looking product. And since we've removed the UVs, let's put those back on. So you can see that this model has no UVs anymore. So let's go over back to Instalon and tab over to the UVs. And from here, let's use an on-wrap strategy of hard surface axial for this car hood. All right, let's on-wrap selected meshes very quickly we have some new UVs for our car hood. And that's it. Very quickly, we have optimized a heavy CAD data and kept all of the shading and created UVs at the end. So we're now we're ready for a real-time application with this car hood. So for this next example, we're gonna show you this hammer. And this CAD data, if something could have gone wrong with the tessellation, it did. And if we look at it, uh, one of the things to note first is that we have some gaps up in here and between the patches, and we also have some bad normals here. So let's take a look at a couple of other things. If we turn on the shading for the wireframe, you'll see that we have some very long thin triangles here, and it goes right into some very heavily tessellated geometry here for some reason. And if we look at the bottom, even the bottom, uh, one half is, is fairly clean and the other half is very messy. So let's see what we can do with Instalon. 
to try and clean all of this up. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to use percent triangles. I'm going to use the maximum deviation. That way Instalot figures out when is the best time to stop optimizing and keep everything intact. So I'm going to go for maximum deviation of 0.05. You can also see that we don't have UVs. So I've already turned off texture importance uh, for the UVs as off. That way Instalot doesn't consider the UVs when it optimizes the mesh. So let's go ahead and optimize this selected mesh. Now one of the things you'll notice very quickly is that this is only going to take a few seconds, but we are optimizing a 400,000 triangle mesh here. So very quickly, and we're, we can see that we're almost done here with a percentage, and in about under 10 seconds, we've gone from 400,000 triangles down to 5,000 5, triangles. There's one issue that catches my eye, and that is the areas where this individual CAD patch has not been seamed or bridged properly and is starting to drift now. And that is a common issue. It has also retained those normals here. So that shading that was here in the original has been maintained because Instalot thought this was important. So it's very important that you, uh, as the user, have the correct shading on your the input model that you want Instalot to optimize. That way you have the best output possible. One of the other things to note is that the tessellation on this one here has been cleaned up quite a bit. So I'll turn on the shaded mode and we can see there's a very hefty optimization here on the handle. And if we get down to the bottom, this has been cleaned up as well. But again, we've introduced too many errors here. So let's try and clean those up. So with the Instalod, we could use vertex welding by distance of the vertices, or we could try some T-junction healing. But for here, we're going to use lock boundaries. That way, the boundary shapes of the model don't change, and it protects the gaps. So we're going to go ahead and hit Optimize Selected Meshes. And again, this is only going to take a few seconds, but we should have a much better output than we had before by locking the boundaries. So you can see down here in our output log the process and the percentage it's at, and we're already done here. So I'm going to pull this off to the side and what you'll notice right away is that all of these gaps have been controlled for the most part. And there is a gap here, but it's maintained from the original input mesh. So again, this should be cleaned up from the input mesh to preserve the best output. But we have a very clean front. And down here, it's protected the shading and boundaries below here. So we've gone from 400,000 triangles down to 9,600 triangles. It's a very good optimization for what was a very messy input mesh. So thank you for taking a look at this CAD model optimization. We hope you enjoyed the great things that you could do with Instalod when optimizing your meshes.